what is the sum of the first four terms of the arithmetic sequence in which the sixth term is 8 and the tenth term is 13? So there are two different ways of answering this question. The first way is the traditional way, and that way requires that, you re that you've remembered the formula for the arithmetic sequence. That formula, if you have remembered it, will be very useful, and the formula is a sub n equals a1 plus parentheses n minus 1 times d, where n represents the number that you, or the number term in the sequence, and d represents the common difference, or the, um, the number which you're adding to each term to get to the next term in the sequence. So the question tells us that the sixth term is 8, so I know that a6 is equal to 8. So 8 is a1 plus n is 6, since we're at the sixth term, so 6 minus 1 is 5, so I get 5d. I also am, t am told that the tenth term is equal to 13, so I can make an equation that says 13 is equal to a1. Um, and since n is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, so this becomes 9 d. Now, since I have two equations with two unknowns, right, there's a1 and d in both equations, um, which I don't know, I can use uh, elimination, so I can subtract the second equation from the first equation, and by doing so, I get a8 minus 13, which is negative 5, a1 minus a1 is gone, that becomes minus as well, 5d minus 9d becomes negative 4, D to solve for D, I divide both by negative 4, and I get D is equal to 5 over 4, which is the same as 1.25. So now that I know what D is, I want to figure out what are the, the terms in the sequence. Well, if I know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, if I know that the tenth term is 13, 9, 8, 7, 6, I know this term is 8, and I know that D is 1.25, and, and all I care about are these first four terms, then I can work my way backward, basically, to figure out what the first four terms are by subtracting 1.25. So 8 minus 1.25 is 6.75. 6.75 minus 1.25 is 5.5. Doing that again, I get 4.25. Doing that again, I get 3. And once again, I get 1.75. So all that's really left to do now is to add up all those values together. And when you plug that into your calculator and you add them all up, what you get is 14.5 as the answer, which is answer choice G. The other way to answer this question, if you, let's say, have never learned arithmetic sequences or just don't recall this formula here, is to really start off by making a little sequence of underlines to represent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to represent each number. And again, I'm going to just place in what the question gives me, so that's 13. 9, 8, 7, 6, and this is 8. And then what we can do is say, well, how many spaces do I need to move from 8 to 13? 1, 2, 3, 4. And how far away is 13 from 8? Well, it's a total of 5 units. So to figure out the common difference, we just simply divide 5 over 4, which gives me 1.25. That works because I know that each of these jumps, each of these four jumps here, have to be the exact same distance in an arithmetic sequence. So if I'm going a total distance of five, then I can simply divide by four to figure out how the distance of each individual jump. And then just like before, I simply you know subtract the 1.25 as I work my way down from eight to figure out what those first four units are in the sequence um, and then add those together as I already did initially. So you can use the traditional math here, which is great. If you haven't memorized it, I would say that it's nice to know. Um, if you don't know it, then it's not necessary because you can always use this strategy as well to answer the question.